Oh, hi there YouTube. This is the uh, unboxing and uh, review of the uh, solar charge controller, the uh, SRNE. Um, uh, the reason why I purchased this one because uh, I had the uh, EP ever before, which is uh, needs to be replaced. At uh, at this at this new solar charge controller. Oh, uh, by the way, this is a uh, twenty amps uh, MPPT solar charge controller from SRNE. So the first thing you're gonna see is the uh, of course the uh, manual on the uh, MPPT. And the next thing will be the uh, temperature sensor, which is included to the uh, solar charge controller, and the cardboard uh, and the cardboard, which uh, serve as a guide where you're gonna install the uh, solar charge controller. You know, in the back to put the screw in, and of course the uh, solar charge controller, the main thing. So this is my old uh, solar charge controller, the uh, EP Ever, then replaced with the new SRNE MPPT solar charge controller. So I just transferred the uh, wires from the old uh, MPPT. The reason why I replace it uh, with the new one because uh, of the LCD screen on the new one. It's just I don't have on the old one, so it's just I don't know what happened uh, during charging on this one, so I, 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 I replaced it with the new one. Hello there again, so uh, the reason why I, I replaced this uh, old one, this new one, it's because this one don't have the LCD. So what happened last time, um, I'm very curious what happened is my battery didn't go full charge every time. So uh, I check it manually from the uh, solar panels that goes on the MPPT and it gives me uh, a 20 amps or a 19 to 20 amps uh, um, uh, current from the uh, solar panel. And then of course when you, the power goes in, uh, the solar charge controller then give power to the battery to charge the battery when I check the um, the uh, power um, I mean the uh, current from from the solar charge controller to the uh, to the battery it only gives to the battery around uh, 5 amps so it's just not the good thing I think because uh, I harvested 20 uh, amps from the uh, solar panel to the solar charge controller and the solar charge controller just give me 5 amps so there will be no chance my battery which is 200 amps will be full charge you know so I'm using this one for at least 5 months or so but uh, there will there is no problem with this one uh, it's just it couldn't reach the full charge every day because the uh, system is just uh, the solar system which I have is I just use for um, for my aquarium for the fish uh, lots of uh, power failure in here in my place now. so I've, I've installed this one and this is the cheapest one that's why I purchased solar you know to save money so I don't buy those fancy expensive solar charge controller I just need this one but uh, uh, I think it fails me so I'm sorry on that one EP ever but uh, I've, I've trust the brand I get it the EP ever is uh, one of the best thing one of the uh, respected uh, uh, brand when it comes to MPPT so maybe on the next uh, purchase I probably purchase one of these and uh, this one is uh, under uh, observation at this time but uh, it uh, uh, 
Well, I think uh, I'll give a five star on this one because of uh, if, if just comparing on this one, you know, same price, probably same price, but uh, um, this one is better because of this uh, LCD uh, display. It's easy for me to see what happened. Yeah, yeah. So this is the main main uh, display. Uh, which you see uh, if you're gonna press this one in here we'll, uh, we're gonna see the uh, power from the uh, solar uh, it produces 50 52 because I I uh, wired the uh, solar panels in series so you know MPP3 uh, MPPT if you have a higher voltage then uh, he will gonna put that one uh, lower to to give it to your battery let's say if you have a 12 volts uh, system then he will just gonna he will just gonna give uh, voltage 12 volts to the battery and then the rest the uh, volt will turn into uh, amps so uh, that's the reason why I, I make it uh, a series on the uh, solar panel. Next will be the amps. Well, it's not that um, sunny at this time. So, so uh, it's, it's uh, what time is it? 3.44 p.m. already. So sun is gone actually, uh, sadly. So I only have a point seventy eight amps, okay, at this time. So no, no, this will not. Uh, I think it will do not uh, give me that much power. I think so. Let's go to the next one. The next one will uh, the percentage of my battery. It's sixty nine percent. And the next will be the uh, voltage on the battery that is 12.8 for the uh, flood type batteries it's uh, it's uh, what you call it uh, it's a full charge already it should be only 12.6 but this is 12.8 so I'm happy on that one um, again the uh, load side this is the load side in this one this is for the uh, PV the, the uh, solar panels this is for the batteries and this is the load side now the load side I don't have any oh one thing uh, the problem with this MPPT charge controller this one SRNE is they don't have the uh, backlight on this one so uh, the remedy that I made to solve this one is to put a light on this on the side and 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 connect it to the load together with the fan. Uh, I get a fan in here because the uh, this controller gets a bit warm, I think, during uh, charging. So uh, this is the load. Uh, this is the load. Uh, I don't have any. Um, figures in here because I don't put the load so if you press this one then I get the load already 0.28 so this will be the lights and the fan to you know to help the uh, solar charge controller to be cool Let's see I will just switch that one off back again so, and the next uh, display will be the um, amps okay from the solar panel to your battery it's it's the uh, you know the the uh, amperage that you harvest today okay I got 68 amps uh, goes to my battery today and it will just reset at night time when when there is no power from the uh, PV arrays or the solar panels it will just reset in the morning again it starts to zero and then as uh, the day progresses you can see uh, how many amps that you harvest 
okay each day so this one is for the uh, what is this one? Oh, the uh, the load the load uh, it's just one amp for that load um, the uh, temperature sensor it's 34 degrees which goes to the uh, batteries uh, by the way I only have two batteries in here uh, 100 uh, amps uh, per battery and it connects uh, in a parallel connection um, this is for the uh, setting uh, uh, on the load um, let's say during night time it will just switch on automatically something like that or you can put the timing on this one let's say an, an hour or a couple of hours uh, the lights will be on on this load in here if you put something uh, light load and then it will shut off it's it's uh, you can change that one uh, regarding what you want what you need so yeah that's that's the uh, that this is this display means on that one you can change this one yeah. on, on different modes that you suit to you this is the uh, uh, code error code if there is any problem with the um, uh, controller let's say if there is any overload it puts uh, figures in here and then you will gonna check to your manual if you know it what, what what kind of problem that one let's say it puts one or two or three then you will gonna check it to your your manual and you're gonna see what's the uh, problem in there so we will gonna figure that out and you know uh, fix it as up so soon as possible and then back again to the uh, um, to the main thing the main display guys uh, I think uh, that's all I hope I, I I don't think I don't I don't cover everything so maybe on the next video we're gonna show you the uh, solar panel and uh, uh, the main purpose in this uh, solar project that I got um, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna let you see the uh, you know the uh, pond the uh, uh, this thing uh, my uh, solar um, solar controller I mean the I mean the solar system that I I've, 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 I've got will supply all of this uh, IBC um, tilapia pond um, we're gonna give you some details on this one how to raise on this and uh, yeah from for um, uh, again a deep review on this one uh, on the solar charge controller as well well i think uh, that's all and uh, we're gonna see you again in the next video guys and thank you for watching and just sharing this one to you guys and uh, we're gonna see you next time